We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, The Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Today's reading, September 20, Why the Bad News is Good News. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, and those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. Isaiah 9, 2. In 1967, two researchers at the University of Washington School of Medicine, Thomas H. Holmes and Richard H. Ra, designed an instrument called the Social Readjustment Rating Scale, SRRS. It gives point values to 43 different life experiences, Their premise was that the good and bad events in our lives can increase our stress levels and thus make us more vulnerable to physical and mental illness, that certain of our life experiences cause enough stress to create disequilibrium in our lives, opening us up to the possibility of major paradigm shifts, not only physically, but mentally. The number one stressor, death of a child, followed by death of a spouse, a divorce, marital separation, jail term, etc. But it isn't only bad news that creates stress. Good news experiences, such as marriage, pregnancy, outstanding personal achievements, do too. And Given the economic roller coaster we're on globally today, I was intrigued to note that of those of these 43 life experiences, 12 of them have to do with our personal financial state. That means that times of economic uncertainty and financial crisis open us up wide to the possibility of experiencing a major paradigm shift a major change in our lives, the very change the gospel of Christ seeks in every human heart. Think about it. In this season of bad news, the world over, the good news is that the bad news actually opens people up, as never before, to a receptivity to the good news, which can turn this time of bad news into a time of great news indeed. Come to think of it, in this season, before the Messiah's second coming, conditions aren't unlike those that existed when he came the first time, are they? Economic instability, political uncertainty, moral decadence, social collapse, racial-slash-ethnic conflict, religious strife, but then, wouldn't you expect the God of the universe to select the most opportune and productive time to announce the major paradigm shift of his everlasting gospel? When the bad news is the baddest, the good news is the greatest, all of which means that there couldn't be a more opportune time to be praying for lost people than today. But not only praying for them, today, is the perfect time to begin effectively sharing our faith with them. How? Let's explore the ways. This concludes our reading today of God's Dream for You, The Chosen.